On June 12th, we set out to hike our third New Hampshire 4,000 footer, Mount Cabot. After a several month hiatus from hiking, we wanted to ease back into hiking all 48 4,000 footers here in New Hampshire by the end of the year. This list of White Mountain Peaks was created by the Appalachian Mountain Club in the 1950s in order to get people out to lesser known sections of the White Mountains. With our love of the outdoors and hiking, we thought this would be a perfect goal to accomplish, allowing us to film our adventures as we went and share them as well. While doing research, we learned that Cabot isn't particularly well loved. But hey, we tried to keep an open mind as we arrived at the trailhead. Simply happy to be out hiking again. Sarah limbered up. I squeezed into my bag. Sarah then tried to suffocate me with bug spray. Which she was far too happy about. And we snapped a pic at the trailhead sign. Finally ready to begin the hike. So. The trails that we're doing is going to end up being about a 9.6 mile out and back up to the summit of Mount Cabot, which is the northernmost New Hampshire 4,000 footer. It's a part of the pilot range and it's at 4,170 feet with an elevation gain of 3,050 feet. It feels good to be back. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden So far, the trail has been super flat, but quite muddy, so be careful if you come after a rain. We quickly decided to shed some layers and then continued to follow along the north side of the brook that comes down from Bunnell Notch, at times coming alongside the stream, while at others having to climb short distances before leveling off again. So we're following we're really close. <laughs> <laughs> we're following the brook right now. And it's probably about another I'll say another mile until we get to the junction of uh, Kilkenny Ridge Trail and Buttle Notch Trail. And then we'll continue on to Kilkenny Ridge Trail. And then get to the summit. So this trail is quite muddy. I would bring waterproof shoes. My hiking boots are hurting my feet, so I just chose to warm, wear my sneakers, but I have to be careful not to get them wet because they're not waterproof. And yeah, watch your step. Walk up the river by my son. Feet step over splinters of the moon. Finally, at three miles, we came to the Kilkenny Ridge and Bunnell Notch Trail Junction. We're finally on the Kilkenny Trail. 1.8 miles. This is a weird trail. Like you have sections of it that will climb for a short amount of time and then you level out and you start to descend for a while. But we're definitely gaining an elevation because we've changed into a different type of forest with the fir trees compared to where we started. It's just kind of an odd trail. We're expecting it a little while up. We're looking at the map uh, and the elevation is supposed to start to climb. It's so pretty.
Mm, this is sweaty. You can't tell until you show the comparison of your side. <laughs> your whole back is all sweaty. It's a little humid. <laughs> <laughs> While during the bundle notch section of the hike, we had experienced on occasion a nice breeze, we started actually climbing after 0.2 miles on the Kilkenny Ridge Trail with zero wind and high humidity. Also at this point, the trail underneath us turned to large rocks rather than the dirt, rock, and root path we had been following up until this point. Then, at 3.9 miles into our overall hike, after a sign that said, View, we walked out onto Bunnell Rock. Knowing that the majority of the hike up Mount Cabot was under tree line with next to no views, we were at first excited to be able to have some sort of view looking south at the north side of Terrace Mountain. But we didn't stay out here for very long. All right, so we're at the first viewpoint. <laughs> the black flies are terrible. It's a rough life. <laughs> but the view is gorgeous. At least it's not horse flies. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> okay, can I keep going? Yeah. All right, cool. So pretty though. Ah, God. Ah. So the breeze that we had lower on during the trail is non-existent up here, past the viewpoint back there, which means that the black flies are really, really bad. Ugh, I can't stop for more than a second without getting attacked by them. If you can't tell right here, I'm royally agitated. Instead of taking this clip out, we wanted to leave it in as a reminder that as fun as hiking can be and as much as we enjoy it, sometimes it just plain sucks. Black flies, humidity, gross sweat, heavy packs, sore legs, those are all part of the hiking experience as well. And then in moments like these, when you simply can't put the cover back on a stupid piece of crap water pouch, you can't help but think of all the places that you'd rather be. But just like in life when times may get you down, it sometimes simply helps to just keep on moving. So we're now in this more dense, forested, rocky area, but it is cooler. After taking a moment to stop, breathe, cool off and listen to the birdies, I took a quick attitude lifting detour. And we got to the old fire warden's cabin, located 4.4 miles into the overall hike. We checked the cabin out, learning that it's now maintained partly by the USDA Forest Service and has some bunks in case you want to stay the night on the mountain. We then decided to come back here to eat our lunch after officially summiting. Continuing on, we came to the site of the old fire tower, which was torn down in the 1960s. Beyond this, after about 0.4 miles of walking, we came to a trail junction sign, which, according to photos online, normally has a Cabot Summit sign on it, although it didn't when we hiked on this day. In order to find the actual summit, we followed the path just beyond this trail sign off to the left, reaching the true Cabot summit at 4.8 <laughs> miles. This is the summit of Mount Cabot. This magical little round area, a tree in the middle, a mini Karen, and us. Hey, <laughs> we made it. We made it. All right, so we summited, and now we're gonna head back to that cabin and eat some food away from the bugs, and then make our way back down. I think it took us about three hours. We're taking our time. <laughs> it was a good hike, though. Painful. Yeah, the humidity, no breeze. Black flies coming out. Getting used to the weight of this backpack, kind of trying to adjust it. Some of it was not pleasant, but overall happy to be done with our 
third, technically fourth, but we're not counting Washington yet, I guess. 4,000 footer. Heading back down, just ate some lunch, got fueled up, feeling pretty good, better than we were before. How would you rate this hike, Sarah? Ooh, hmm, that's hard. I'm gonna give it a six and a half because, <laughs> well, there's not really a great summit when you actually get to the summit. So once you have taken the extra time to get there, you're like, meh. <laughs> but um, it had nice amenities, <laughs> like an outhouse and a cabin that we could get away from the black flies and eat which was nice yeah we've just had nicer we've enjoyed hikes a little more yeah and so that's why but yeah. i think on a on the right day it could be an eight hmm. that's something you know sorry it's just it's a thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> very anticlimactic. Uh -huh. i think i would agree i think having the outhouse composting toilet and the cabin there to get away from the bugs real nice Black flies, no breeze on most of the trail. Once you get onto Kilkenny Ridge, that's a bummer. But overall, not a terrible 4,000 footer. Yeah, not bad. Oh, all right. I'm gonna focus on my footing. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, uh, we're toward the end of the trail back. <laughs> <laughs> I got a negative Nelly over here. You're not negative, I'm just saying. I think we have like still a mile left. It's still towards the end. <laughs> Anyways, we just had a little bit of breeze. It was so nice. I'm wearing this sweatshirt because it has bug spray on it and it's been helping immensely. Oh, this brook is so beautiful. The water's so clear. I want to go swim in it so badly. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop laughing at you. We're back! We're back. So, one to ten. Why would you give the hike? I would say a six and a half, too. Between six okay. and a ten. I mean, six and a seven. <laughs> Why? Um, the first one back after a long break is always kind of <sighs> rough. Um, hot, humid, and muggy, which has nothing to do with the mountain. It's just the day that we picked. Yeah. But still, that kind of factors into it. Stepped uh, in mud. Stepped in mud. Um, not any like crazy views compared to some of the other 4,000 footers you can do. And but, then the view we did see, we got bombarded by black flies. Yeah, lugs have been pretty bad with the lack of wind or breeze. But we did it. High five. Oh, high five. Woo! Ooh. Did I right. catch it in my hair? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Ready to go. All right, we'll see you in the next one.